Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we want to make a virtual lab. We want to uh, make an experiment to investigate the relationship between kinetic energy and uh, temperature. What is the relationship? And when you change the temperature, what's going to happen to the kinetic energy? Okay. Um, we're going uh, to uh, use this virtual lab. While I'm uh, explaining, you have to write notes. You have to write what are the things that we use. Uh, what is the objective? The objective, we want to know what is the relationship between kinetic energy and uh, temperature. Uh, and uh, then you have to write what are the things that we use. You have to listen carefully to this video. Then you have to write your observation. How to write the observation? It's very important, very important while you're writing observation. You have like numbers in the observation. You have, for example, to draw a uh, like a graph. All of these are included in the, uh, in the observation. Then we're going to write the conclusion. Listen carefully, pay attention. At the beginning, you have to write what is your prediction? What do you think? At the beginning listen carefully and uh, try to write notes while you are listening these are required for the exam in this lesson you're going to carry out an experiment to investigate the relationship between kinetic energy and temperature here's what you'll use a container of fixed volume You'll use the observation container to observe the movement of gas molecules. So at the beginning, container, con this container, it has molecules. Now we, were, we will talk about what, are these, what about these uh, molecules, what are these molecules? Buttons to choose a gas. You'll use... Then we will use different uh, gases. Not, uh, not at the same time, for sure. At each time, we're going to use different gases, okay? Uh, the gas nitrogen and carbon dioxide these buttons to select nitrogen or carbon dioxide. A control to change the temperature. You'll use this control to vary the temperature of the gas. A graph of average kinetic energy. You'll read the average kinetic energy of the gas molecules on this graph. A data table. You'll record your data in this table. So, you have first to draw this table. Okay, and write the numbers will be given, okay, to draw our graph. But this graph for kinetic energy will be given to read uh, uh, the kinetic energy, the amount of kinetic energy. Listen carefully now. Let's look at the procedure now, how to do it. Uh, for sure, I'm not going to ask you how to do it because I'm, uh, we will give you the way how to do it because I'll do it for you. Listen. You're going to use an observation container model to explore how kinetic energy and temperature are related to each other. How do you think changing the temperature of the gas molecules will affect their kinetic energy? Write your prediction in the box and then click OK. How does changing the temperature, this one you have to write it, Yani, this one is a homework for you and I'm asking you to do it, okay? Don't wait till I give it you the answer you have to tell me what is your prediction before you did this experiment the question how does changing the temperature of the gas molecule if i get, change the temperature for the gas micro molecule for nitrogen or carbon dioxide uh, of the gas molecule affect their kinetic energy how this changing in temperature will affect the kinetic energy okay we want what do you think if I increase the temperature, what's going to happen? If I decrease the temperature, what's going to happen? You have to write your prediction. You have to write it like in your, in, yeah, before you do any experiment. To do any experiment, you have to ask your, your, uh, yourself a question to put your goal or what you want at the end. Okay? You have to write it down before we start the experiment. Continue to see if your prediction is correct. Now we want to see if our prediction is correct for me. I put my answer. You have to put your answer to see now we want to do the experiment. Do what? To check if our answer is correct or not. Using this model, you'll be able to vary the temperature of a sample of gas and observe the motion of its molecules. The average kinetic energy of the molecules can be recorded for different values of the temperature. 
How do you plan to investigate the relationship between the temperature of the molecules and their kinetic energy? Write your plan in the box and then click OK. Well, what do you think? What are we going? What are you going to do? For me, for example, I'll give you for example for me. I'm going at the beginning. I'm going to choose a gas, the first gas, for example, nitrogen. Okay. Then I'm going to change the temperature. And I'll see the temperature is changing by what? What is the kinetic energy when I change the temperature from one, uh, for, for example, from zero to five hundred to one thousand? The same. I'm going to repeat the same uh, experiment for carbon dioxide, and I'm going to write my uh, my observation on the table that uh, that I already drew before. I have to put the temperature. Then I have to write what is the kinetic energy. Uh, when uh, for each temperature for both for nitrogen and carbon uh, dioxide, okay. This is in general. Look at the uh, the way. Check your plan. Did you set a goal and include these steps? Choose the molecule to study. Use the slider to set the temperature and record its value in the table. Read the average kinetic energy of the molecules on the graph and record its value in the table. Repeat the steps for two more temperatures. Select the other molecule and repeat these steps. If your plan does not include these steps, you can change it. Okay, Once you can you write finish, it in general. Click the next button to move on. Let's continue. Let's start now our what our experiment. Let's start with it. Let's start our investigation. We'll begin by looking at a sample of nitrogen gas, each of whose molecules is composed of two nitrogen atoms. The gas selected is nitrogen. The temperature is set to zero degrees Celsius. Record this temperature in the table. So at the beginning, I'm going to select the gas. I'm going to start with nitrogen, as she, as she said. Uh, then I have to select what is the temperature which is zero. Now I have to record my, uh, I have to write here t zero Celsius. Okay. Then click the run button to start the simulation. Let's start. Well, I'm going now to read here from this graph. It will appear what is the kinetic energy of the nitrogen particles when the temperature is zero. Okay. Zero Celsius degree. Look, I'm going to start this experiment. Look at the particles, how they will move. The kinetic energy graph shows the average kinetic energy of all the molecules. Record the average kinetic energy value in the table for this temperature. What can you see? It's like about, this is 5, this is 10. It's about 6, right? This is the, I'm going to write 6 uh, for nitrogen, okay? Now I'm going to change the temperature. Click the reset button to reset the simulation. I'll stop here from Adjust 0. Adjust the temperature and repeat the measurement for 500 degrees Celsius and 1000 degrees Celsius. Now I'm going to change the, the temperature to 500 Celsius degree. Then I'm going to see what is the kinetic energy for these particles. Let's start. Look how the particles, they start to move faster. Look here, it's like between 15 and 20. Let's write, which is um, less than uh, 15. Uh, uh, let's write uh, here 16, let's say, for example, okay? This is at temperature 500 Celsius. Okay, I'm going now to stop this one. I'll change the temperature to 1000. I'll start. Look how they are start to move faster. Look at the temperature here. It's like between 25 and 30, it's like 26, let's say, at uh, 1000 uh, Celsius, uh, Celsius degree, as you see. Now, let's continue here. Here I'm going to write for carbon dioxide. I'll change the temperature to 0 Celsius. What is the carbon dioxide at 0? I'll start the movement let's say it's about the same as nitrogen let's write 6 for carbon dioxide at 500 celsius i'll stop this one i'll change the temperature into 500 
it's a start particles start to move faster and you look at the graph here which is like 16 okay what about if the temperature I'll stop it here then I'll change the temperature into 1000 I'll start look at the particles start to move faster and faster it's like 26 as you see so these are my observation let's uh, now study this observation after I write uh, this I'm going to draw like a graph after I finish from recording this. To help this. analyze the data you collected, you can plot it on a graph. Okay. The x-axis represents temperature. The y-axis represents kinetic energy. Click Let's the see. stamp tool. Try to draw it. Try to draw it with me. At zero Celsius. Use uh, the stamp tool to plot a point on the graph for each pair of nitrogen values. At zero when you're Celsius done, temperature. Use the line tool to connect them. What is the temperature? It was like uh, 6. I put it here. This is for carbon dioxide. What about when it was 500? I'm going to go up here 500. It's why like 16. Uh, what about when it was 1000? 1000 it's like 26. The kinetic energy, right? I'm going now to join the line by using this one try to draw it in your no sorry okay I'm going to continue it's going up as the temperature incre increase as you see the uh, the kinetic energy what increases also right Tap. for what about for uh, nitrogen uh, so uh, this is for carbon dioxide the same thing for nitrogen the same it's gonna be the same line okay let's analyze our investigated results investigated the relationship between the kinetic energy of gas molecules and their temperatures how did the kinetic energy of the molecules change when you varied the temperature okay. write your conclusions in the box what and then do you click think? ok what do you think from the graph, from this table, what's going to happen to the kinetic energy when you increase the temperature? For sure, as you increase the temperature, the um, the kinetic energy what increases, right? This is my uh, conclusion. What about your conclusion? Is it correct? Let's see. When the temperature of either sample of gas molecules was increased, their kinetic energy increased in a straight line. Mm -hmm. So... We can say that the kinetic energy of gas molecules is directly proportional to their temperature. You also found that the kinetic energy values for a given temperature were the same, regardless of the gas studied. So, we can also describe the relationship by saying that the temperature of any gas is a measure of the kinetic energy of its molecules. How do your conclusions compare to how scientists explain this? Write your answer in the box and then click OK. Is your explanation the same? Is this your prediction also? Are these your results? Check your uh, answer or compare what you wrote with, these, uh, with this explanation. If you have any question about this experiment, you can send me your uh, question. Thank you for listening.